So in, in this tutorial, I'm going to go through a couple of steps to take an existing model which has been contoured and I'm going to recreate a surface on it. And once the surface is recreated, I'm going to take a cross section through uh, an alignment on the road and then we'll have a look at actually producing what AutoCAD call a profile and what you may be more familiar with uh, using the term longitudinal section. So here we have a model which has been taken from a map that was contoured already, but we don't have an active surface in there yet. We just have the contours from somebody else's work. So the first thing we need to do is to make a surface and then regenerate using the existing contours. So over here on the Prospector tab, find your surfaces, do a right click and create surface. And I'm just going to call it uh, EGL for existing ground level. And the style I'm going to use, uh, triangulation is fine. Um, from here you could select your different contours as well but triangulation probably will, will be better just for the moment you can always change it later on so go okay to that so all i've done really there is just uh, change uh, sorry created a surface called egl so go okay to that now over here if you expand out surfaces you can see the surface egl expand that out and expand out definition and what we're going to do is we're going to define it by contours up until now, you might be used to defining it by point groups uh, or point files, but now we're going to define it using contours. So select contours with a left click, then do a right click and go add. Add contour data so we can call it whatever we like. I'm just going to call it uh, base map contours. And I, I, I want to go through this in the, the most efficient possible way. So I'm going to accept a lot of the defaults here, so you don't need to worry about these. So I'm just going to give it a description, base map contours, and go OK. And on our command line now, our command line is telling us to select the contours. So I'm just going to draw a box over all the contours that are there. 2,724 found, so press Enter when you're finished selecting them. And it's going to take a couple of minutes, depending on the uh, power of your computer to do this. As you can see, uh, we've got a little bit of uh, progress bar down in the bottom right hand corner here. So the computer is actually working uh, away here at doing this. Now, it has made the surface now. So you can see those triangles there sitting on top of the uh, original contours that are there from the base map. What you could do is you could now turn off the layers that these old contours are on. If you wanted to turn those off, you could. I'm just going to leave them there for the moment. They're not actually too uh, intrusive where they are. So that's a surface created. Um, we can have a look at that surface if you select uh, one of the lines on it so that it all gets uh, selected. And if we then go into our object viewer, again, depending on how powerful your computer is, uh, you may or may not have to wait for a few minutes for that to happen. And I'm just going to change this to, say, realistic. And if I zoom in here now, you can see that the surface has been created there. So there's quite a bit of detail in this. I'm just going to close that out now. OK, so the next thing we want to do is to take a longitudinal section through the existing ground level. Now, in AutoCAD, that's called a profile view. And the first thing you need to do is to create an alignment. It won't work unless you create an alignment. So you have to actually draw on the center line of a road. So we're going to go over here and we're going to have a look at that now. So in your Home tab, you've got a button here for Alignment. And we're going to go to Alignment Creation Tools. And I'm just going to pick a very basic uh, way of doing this. So the alignment numbers get um, sequentially numbered, so it's going to be number one. If we did a second one, it would be number two and so on. So just go OK to that. We'll accept the defaults. And the most basic form you can have is a straight line. So I'm just going to go with that one. Click on here. And the command line is saying specify the start point. So I'm just going to click somewhere down here. Doesn't really matter for demonstration purposes. And a second point somewhere up here. And uh, that's it created. So you can hit uh, enter just to finish that command. Now if I zoom in here and have a look at this alignment, you can see that there are changes marked on it. So it's it's a center line of a road as far as Civil 3D is concerned. Okay, so now that that line is on there, we can close down the uh, profile or the alignment creation tools and we'll go and have a look at taking a longitudinal section off that now.
So the next thing you need to do is to come in here, click on the alignment itself, and the contextual ribbon that appears here now, what we're looking for is surface profile. So click on that. We have uh, some uh, information just to double check on here. The alignment we're using is number one. I've only got one in there anyway, so that's the one we want to look at. The starting and end points are automatically picked up depending on how long you've drawn your line. The surface that you want to actually show in the profile is EGL, which we created a few minutes ago. Um, the next thing we need to do now is to just add in here um, the alignment. So this is what's actually going to get shown on the screen. So I'm going to go OK to that. Um, no, do you know what I'll do? I'll come into Draw in Profile View for a second because I want to show you a couple of things here. So this is just extra settings that you can have a look at and you can play around with yourself. So generally, the, sorry, general uh, alignment one profile name is going to be um, long section. You can give it a description. Profile view five times exaggeration, or you can go ten times exaggeration. Um, I'll go with ten, and uh, we can go next. Now a lot of these are going to be just accepting the default settings, really. Um, so again, you can decide whether you want to show the entire length of the road, or you can say, oh, well, I only want to see from chainage zero to chainage 5,000 or whatever it may be. So I'm going to go with automatic and next. Same with the heights. It's automatically picking up the maximum and minimum heights along that alignment. Um, I like to go maybe just a little bit below the minimum height and a little bit above the maximum height, so it's automatically picked them up here. User specified 25 is just lower than the minimum, 80 is just higher than the maximum, so that's my preference. Uh, we don't need to worry about split view, so we'll go next. Um, again, the display options, are we going to draw the alignment or not? Well, we do want to draw it, so again, we're just going to use the um, defaults on that. Go next. The data, what's it going to be shown on the band? So, change on existing ground levels. This is basically going to be showing us what will appear at the bottom. You can see here a little preview. What they're talking about here is what information do you want at the bottom of the profile view or the longitudinal section view. So change on existing ground levels would be typically uh, the style that would be uh, required. So we'll go next to that. And again, we don't want to worry about hatching in um, filled or cut areas just yet. So we can just go straight now to create profile view. So click on that. Now, have a look at your command line. It's saying select the profile view origin. You've got to be careful here because what's going to happen now is wherever you click next, the profile view is going to appear and it will draw from the from left to right from wherever you put your, your mouse now. So I'm going, to select, I'm going to move my mouse out here and I'm going to go click on my left mouse button and you can see the profile view has been drawn on there now. If we zoom in here for a second, you can see the chainage and the existing ground levels have been automatically uh, picked up on it. Horizontal geometry is just a straight line because I haven't put any uh, horizontal curves into this. It's just a straight line alignment. And we get a name for it up here. Alignment 1, long section. Scales um, are different in horizontal and vertical because we've got this 10 times exaggeration. And the datum line is at a level of 25. So that's a longitudinal section through a uh, surface which was created from contours. The next video that will be important to look at in conjunction with this is how to put a, a design for the vertical alignment on here. So in other words, uh, if we're designing the road, uh, is the road rising, is the road falling, what kind of radius and what kind of design do we need for the intersection point of the vertical curve. So that is the horizontal alignment and the longitudinal section taken from the contours. So next video in this series, we'll be looking at putting on a vertical curve design onto this section.